I spent a full freaking day trying to figure out the best setting for my JK3 Ultra printer. To be honest, all I want is to be able to print my freaking model without all the understanding of all those settings. So this printer needs no introduction. If you need to watch a full unboxing, you can go ahead and watch other YouTubers, such as the Fake Hammer YouTube channel. I'm not hating on those big channels. Maybe I am just jealous because they are getting all the sponsorship and stuff like that. But what pisses me off is when you watch those channels, all you hear is just yapping, blah, 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 blah. It's like you learn something without really being useful in real life. Kind of like reading the user manual of the machine. If you don't want to waste your time and want to know my setting, here is my setting on Cheetobox. I live in a pretty hot environment, close to 30 degrees Celsius. So for you, you might have to adjust your setting based on your temperature. If you fully watch my video, I will share with you everything I have learned so far to set up my resin. I'm using Chiru Box not because I like it or whatever, but compared to Lychee, most of the features are free in Chiru Box, such as the tolerance setting. And lychee slicer is kind of like uh, give me your money uh, you know you have to upgrade because of this or that and right now i'm kind of broke you know i'm pretty happy with this machine for now uh, and i can compare with my previous my first machine which was the photon mono 4 ultra first of all the look the design is neat i feel like dexter right now and also cleaning and uh, you know the process is just like way more clean like i'm able to keep my space really clean for the resin i'm using the 14k abs light by sandu because the price seems kind of fair and i'm also using the detergent by sandu because uh, it's uh, cheaper for me compared to uh, ipa and finding ipa in my place is kind of hard especially 90 percent and also i have nowhere to evaporate the alcohol because uh, as you can see i'm working in a studio for the setting of the resin, uh, Sunlu they have like their uh, recommended settings, which is uh, something like that. However, first of all, like if you follow these settings, uh, you will have successful prints, but it will take ages to print your models. And the second thing for beginners like me, like this thing right here, uh, applying on Chiru box, it's kind of like day and night it's written in a different language like for example lifting speed like uh, if you come here like there's several settings lifting distance lifting speed and whatever bottom lift speed like how do you apply this setting on your uh, chiru box setting so this part right here like, it's uh, pretty easy you know the layer height for the quality of your prints uh, the exposure time is easy, uh, bottom exposure time easy to understand, uh, even uh, resting time. So this is the part like where it's uh, more complicated in my understanding. It's simply because like it, it is separate into two sections. Like this section right here and this section right there. So if I understand correctly, the first like section right here is going to be like the normal lift uh, speed distance and etc and on the other part is i think it's the extra sauce you know like if you come here like there is this part like the normal uh, lifting and here is going to be the extra sauce you know the extra lifting distance so when you change like uh, setting right here like this is the lift distance of course on the bottom you will be lift uh, you will be controlling the speed of the lifting distance which is come here if you come here you can see like this part is like connected to this part like, if you change uh, it's going to show an error all right so when we read like uh, lifting distance which is lifting height it said 6 to 10 which I have like input just 5 because uh, I saw another video from uh, I think he's from the Vogman who was kind enough to share his settings because he have a similar 
uh, uh, printer. He have the JK3 along uh, with uh, the Sunlu uh, resin. All right, lifting speed like over here 120 and was recommended to be between 60 to 120. So another confusing things for me was uh, you know the lower the uh, the number over here is going to be slower and if you put it at 300 it's going to be faster and I might be stupid right but uh, at first I thought that if you decrease like this amount it has to be faster no but guys it's the other way around right if you put like more numbers it's going to be faster it's going to lift a faster speed so here it was uh, pretty clear so the only stuff I have to worry about is to find like my exposure time so to find my uh, resin exposure settings I did the most famous uh, testing method by uh, frozen which is uh, just printing uh, this model their uh, testing model at uh, different exposure times then they teach you how to read which uh, it's quite easy uh, if it is uh, overexposed you know it it will be like that you know the uh, the resin will kind of like inflate just like cooking something you know and uh, if it is uh, under exposed you know it won't show it's like uh, yeah just like cooking it will be raw it won't show up you know all right so i made my exposure test so this is uh, 50 micron and i started like at three seconds which uh, was totally like overexposed uh, as you can see here on the uh, uh, texture like uh, clothing texture type of stuff it kind of like inflates and that's the uh, effect when uh, you know there is like overexposure so I just came down to 2.8 to 6 to 5 to 3 and I started like almost uh, got it however there is still some uh, parts here that are touching uh, but cannot see on camera and I reach perfection at 2.1 So once I figured my exposure settings, uh, the next thing was to find my uh, tolerance compensation settings. Because everything I make has to fit precisely and properly. So to do this, I simply have to print like this uh, file, which uh, I learned from uh, another YouTuber, a French YouTuber, but I forgot his name. So it's basically like a square with uh, holes in it. It has like a precise measurement and uh, you just have to fit like both models together. So my first test was without of course the tolerance compensation setting on. And once I printed like uh, I'm only worried about like the inner side, the circle, the holes. And as you can see like it should be 15 millimeter and it's missing like 0.2 millimeter so i have to enlarge the holes so on shiru box i just turn on the tolerance compensation and uh, there is like a and b and what i want to change is the a the holes you know the the inner part and to enlarge the holes you have to uh, put a minus you know you have to reduce if you want to like make the holes a little smaller you simply uh, do not have to put the minus sign on uh, the front it's pretty easy so like i said it needs like 0.2 millimeter we simply need to divide like uh, 0.2 uh, so it's like 0.1 so it will enlarge 0.1 on each side on both sides i hope it's it's clear enough you know and as expected like uh, the second test like it successfully like uh, uh, printed and it's like 15 millimeter so uh, as you can see there is still some space it's because of the outside which is called like uh, the elephant foot however i'm not really worried about the elephant foot all right this is how i set up my sunlu 14k 
resin with my JK3 Ultra and in the next video I'll be printing my own model. So stay tuned.